What's going on guys? Welcome to some more Minnesota Vikings franchise. Here the Minnesota Vikings are in Season 4, Week 8, 5-2, and two, taking on the St. Louis Rams. And of course, Jamez Logan, our star rookie wide receiver who has came out of nowhere and led the NFL in receptions until his injury. And this will be our final game without him, but it's against the good St. Louis Rams team. And the NFC North right now is neck and neck here about midway through the season, almost anyways. Rams and the Cardinals, they're fighting it out in the NFC West. And look here at their roster. Devere Posey is the NFL's number one receiver right now. Chris Long, Robert Quinn, Steven Jackson, James Laurinaitis, Lance Kendricks, Sam Bradford. And we are going to cut Jai Mahoney in this episode. You guys want to see me bring in a free agent to go kick return as Lorenzo Booker has been struggling. So we're going to get a guy who I think could actually be a possibly good player, Evander Frederick, the cornerback. But now it is time to go against Sam Bradford and the St. Louis Rams here in the Metrodome. Starting out in the first quarter here, Bradford out of the shotgun. He finds Steve Smith on the outside, and that is the older Steve Smith, not the one that plays for the Eagles now. He has not retired yet, and now Bradford over the middle is to Steve Smith once again as he took a shot. An injury on the play is Cedric Griffin, and he has broken ribs, so it's kind of good I signed a cornerback because now we need a little bit of extra depth with this injury. Our nickelback is out. Bradford now handing off to Steven Jackson, and he takes a shot from Taylor Mays. That is why he plays. He hits hard. He is fast. Take another look at this. It takes someone who is pretty strong to hit Steven Jackson like that and make him fumble. Luckily for the Rams, they keep possession, and now DeAndre Hopkins makes the catch over the middle from Bradford as they're inside the five-yard line now, faced with third and goal split backs out of the shotgun set. Handoff to Stephon Taylor, a touchdown for the Rams as they take the first lead of the game, 7-0 here in the first quarter. Minnesota trying to get their offense going, and Ponder, he's going to eat a sack on first down from Chris Long, make it second and 17. We work it up to third and five at least. Ponder to pass again over the middle, per see Harvin and he drops the ball could not take the hit and catch the ball at the same time and so Minnesota's offense pretty slow right now we're already in the second quarter with Bradford hooking up with Steven Jackson on third down they were gonna mark this one short of the first down Jackson was unhappy about the spot and the Rams throw the challenge flag out and after taking a second look the referees determined that they made a mistake and the call is overturned so the Rams keep possession and they get a new set of downs so Steven Jackson takes a second and seven carry and he's gonna get another first down get a lot of carries here in the first half Bradford a pass on second and nine they wanted the screen pass and instead they got a sack Christian Ballard makes it third and 17 now for Bradford as we bring the blitz and he's gonna go to the end zone caught by Devere Posey the NFL's number one receiver Jamel Fleming did not turn his head around and Posey makes this a 14 and nothing lead for the Rams as the Vikings try to get their offense going for the first time in the game and there is a first down pass from Ponder to Michael Crabtree stepping up for Jamez Logan as it looks like we might have something going now and Ponder play action boot and the nice pass off his back foot is complete to Michael Crabtree who was inbounds and the Vikings find themselves in St. Louis territory for the first time on second down the give is to Toby Gerhardt up the middle he gets another first down for Minnesota they are on the edge of field goal range, and Peterson's going to make that easier in case we have to kick a field goal as he gets a 12-yard carry, moving the chains. And that brings Ponder to pass on second and two. Another play action, and this time he goes to Vasante Shanko in the end zone, and he's got to still it for Kyle Rudolph. So we got two key injuries out on offense, and I made a change on defense. Devere Posey with his 91 speed and his 91 route running. We're going to put Morris Claiborne on him for the rest of the game. The following possession for the Rams, they ended up punting, and here's the first look at Evander Frederick on a punt return, and he gets hurt as he's tackled out of bounds, and it's a concussion, so he's out for the game now, and the Vikings have it. Just over 30 seconds to go in the first half, and Ponder wants to load up and go deep. Crabtree's got a half a step on the defender, but Ponder leads him too far out of bounds, and he can't make the catch in bounds. So the Rams now take it over. That the ball of the Vikings 45 yard line. DeAndre Hopkins makes the catch. It almost was knocked away. And with that, the Rams are in field goal range. Timeout with one second left. That is perfect management by the offense. And they kick a field goal, make it a two score lead before we go to the second half. Now in the third quarter, Ponder's out of the shotgun on third and nine. Shanko and Booker in the backfield. Ponder, he's going to find Mark Harrison on the outside, cutting in, making the catch, his second on the day. But once again, it's another third and nine situation. Ponder has plenty of time to throw, and he airmails this one out of bounds. So that drive ended, but we'll pick up in the Vikings' next drive. They have it at about midfield, and Peterson takes a carry, and he's going to get a first down crossing into St. Louis territory. 
Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Ponder now setting up play action. He's going to evade the sack. He's going to roll out to his right a little bit more. Flag on the play. But Ponder, look at this throw to Andrew Corliss. Look at this guy. Flag on the play. Alvin Bailey, once again the rookie. He gets a holding call that wipes out this nice play by Ponder to Corliss. And we'll take it again. Second and 15 now. Ponder this time. Mark Harrison is open and he makes the catch. Another throw right on the line from Ponder to Harrison. And now the Vikings have it first down from the 28-yard line. Play action again. Ponder, it's intercepted. Ponder wanted Harrison and instead he found a St. Louis linebacker who was waiting underneath and snatched the ball. So the St. Louis Rams get a turnover and they take the ball over here late in the third quarter. It is still 17-7. Bradford quick pass on the right. It was on third down and Jamel Fleming could have gotten a pick six right there. He drops it. Minnesota takes over though. It's third and nine. Pass over the middle from Ponder is complete to Percy Harvin. And now the last play of the third quarter, Ponder wants to go outside. He will find Percy Harvin again. So two plays in a row to Percy, 28 yards, as we're now at the St. Louis 25-yard line to begin the fourth quarter. Ponder to throw again, fires it right to Percy, who spins backwards, breaks the tackle, and he has the speed now to get up lost yardage and gets much more as he gets 21 yards of gain and sets up Ponder from the four yard line to do a play action throw it across the field touchdown Andrew Corliss two touchdowns in this game for Ponder both of them to tight ends and we'll skip ahead at 17 to 14 Minnesota has to punt out of their own end zone and back deep to return is Devere Posey who takes it and he's gonna cross midfield they get good field position out of it I don't know if you want your number one receiver who is a number one receiver in the NFL to be returning punts but I guess that's their decision on 3rd and 11, Steven Jackson gets the handoff and he goes right up the middle, gets away from all the Minnesota defenders, and no one can catch him. Morris Claiborne had a grasp of him, but Steven Jackson breaks the tackle and scores the touchdown. A run on 3rd and 11 gets the Rams a touchdown, and it's once again a two-score lead for him. Harvin, he hangs on, makes a nice catch over the middle as Minnesota's trying to cut into this lead again with under four minutes to go. Pump fake for Ponder, then pass to Crabtree as he makes the catch, tiptoes the sideline, stays in bounds. Good play from Crabtree, stepping up pretty well. Third and three now for Ponder. He's back to pass, he's going to take a shot deep. Mark Harrison inside the five, touchdown Minnesota. And we got two receivers stepping up in a big way as Ponder eclipses 10,000 NFL career passing yards. It's 24 to 21. The Rams have the ball run by Steven Jackson. Good for a first down, inching towards midfield. Minnesota has to get a stop to get this ball back. Third and six, they could do it here. Hand off to Jackson. He's met and then is tackled by Eric Norwood. Gain of two, so Minnesota successfully makes the Rams punt, but under a minute to go, only 34 seconds to go. Ponder, quick pass to Harrison on the left side, good blocking downfield, Harrison gets 15 yards, goes out of bounds, good play. So with 30 seconds left to go now, new set of downs for Ponder, and no one can block Chris Long. He went right over our running back, and he sacks Ponder back at the 39, and Minnesota has to burn a timeout. Ahead to second down and once again, Chris Long playing like a man possessed, a back-to-back -back sacks on Ponder. We have to run the no huddle here. Ten seconds to go, third and 24. Ponder, seam route, and it's almost intercepted. It was jumped, looking for Vasante Shanko, and with seven seconds left, Minnesota has to get at least 24 yards. And Ponder, he's just going to load up and throw it as far as he can. Looking for Mark Harrison, and it's incomplete. Time runs out. The St. Louis Rams hold on. And who knows how different this ending could have been if it weren't for Chris Long obliterating our chances late in the game with back-to-back -back sacks. And Ponder, he had three touchdown passes on the day, one kind of critical interception. Steven Jackson, Adrian Peterson, both were successful on the ground today. Harrison, over 100 yards and a touchdown. Crabtree and Harvin, over 60 yards apiece. And Minnesota loses, snaps their winning streak. And they now fall to 5-3, and three, heading into the bye week. So we're going to simulate past this and see what week 10 will bring us. And we do get Jamez Logan back. That is good news. Griffin is out for two more weeks and Rudolph for six more games. So the Vikings, it's neck and neck right now. Five and three for them and the Bears. Minnesota owns the tiebreaker, but the Packers are right there with five wins of their own. And New England Patriots are up next for the Minnesota Vikings. Another tough test as the Vikings try to go to six and three. And in case you haven't seen them yet, here's a couple more videos for you guys to watch. On top is the latest episode in my SSX Let's Play series. I'm having a lot of fun playing that game. It is a really good game. 
And if you haven't tried watching it yet, I recommend you check it out. It is pretty cool. On the bottom is a game of Backbreaker I played and did a commentary over. I basically just talked about football and the things I wanted to do with football on my channel and all these different football games that I have now because I have Blitz League 2, Backbreaker, NFL on tour added to my collection. I'm extremely excited about some upcoming things and ideas that I have. And I was asking for a lot of feedback on that video and I have gotten a lot of feedback that I have enjoyed reading. But guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. And I'll see you later.